Hello, George, Fat Ninja Food Forest. Lettuce was just to get our attention. Changing out the chickens and ducks bedding today. So I made a video a second ago saying there's lots of terms for that. Feces, chicken shit, waste. We can turn that waste into surplus by making it food. So food, I feed a series of things. I feed the compost out here with it first. So today we're doing that. I'm going to empty out the, the chicken and duck bedding. That I make another at least three by three pile like that. I'll do it over here. This becomes the static pile. It's no longer warm anymore. It might be slightly warm. We'll see it go up a little bit, but not much. Yeah, it looks like it's not even going to make it to 60. So just that's a static pile now. I'll build a hot pile next to it, taking parts of that and adding it to it to bring in that microbial life and help getting it going. So then I'll have a, a new thermophilic hot compost going, a static pile next to it. From there, the static pile, I bring it in here. And I have worm beds. There's some in the basement, and there's a couple in here, a few in here like this. So I use it for the bedding in here, but then I feed the food scraps from the kitchen into here. And this is right full of worms. Creating that black gold. Let me dig down a little ways. Just right full of worms. So even that compost, which is great for the garden, I made better by feeding it to the worms. And the microbes that they smear all over it, because they have tiny mouths, I'll just break it down and those microbes feed on it. We're turning all that back into our gardens. I'm looking under stuff for under compost and red wiggler compost. My soil's here under the microscope. Hope that wind's not too much. And they all look great, but it's kind of wild how much is going on in that worm compost. The amount of nematodes, and that's, the nematodes are gonna be there because there's that organic matter, that fungal life for them to feed on, the bacteria for them to feed on, the amoeba for them to feed on. They wouldn't be there if that food wasn't there. We see a lot of it out here in the yard as well, and in the hot compost with the red wiggler compost is just overwhelming with it. That was kind of a off the cuff little video, but I was changing the chicken coop out and I thought I'd go ahead and do that. Change could be better than holiday. Peace. Oh, over here I'd also talk about a chicken yard. Taking some of this soil. They're in here so more than anywhere else we feed and water them in here. That under a microscope is amazing as well. So. Peace.